just being able to see him and talk to him. Today, the Camp Winnetaska community is remembering one of their own, Chris Sturley. He died in a drowning accident on Lake Wadawi in Randolph County Saturday. Good evening. I'm Sherry Jackson. I'm Jack Royer. It took three days and a dozen rescue teams to recover his body. Our Malik Rankin joins us tonight with how Sturley's friends continue to celebrate his life in a story you'll only see here on CBS 42. Chris Sturley spent most of his high school and college summers here at Camp Winnetaska. He had just gotten a job as a nurse at UAB. He was set to begin in three weeks working with COVID-19 patients. Sturley's friends describe him as selfless, someone who made their lives better. Not only was he a hard worker, but so joyful while he worked too. And I, I mean, I can say this for myself as well as anybody else. Like he truly inspired everybody to be a better person and to work harder. It was so fun to always, you know, live life with Chris. Noah Soto, Eason Bertel, and Chris were called the three musketeers. They've been friends for over a decade. It's hard to imagine not being able to call him in the middle of the day or at night and uh, just see what he's up to. How his day has been going. Chris Sturley was set to begin working as a nurse at UAB on July 5th. His family says he wanted to stay close to home to be near them and continue visiting Camp Winnetaska. I think the world lost a great person and we need more Christophers in this world for sure. Sturley's mother, Christine Dolly, says now that Chris is gone, they'll live each day selflessly and generously with her son in mind. I'm going to miss his hugs and hearing, I love you, Mom. Every choice that we make is always going to be for Chris. Roughly 100 staff members, friends and family came here to celebrate Chris Sturley's life. Camp Winnetaska is currently rebuilding this deck and dedicating it in Sturley's honor. In Pell City, I'm Ali Rankin, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.